Guangzhou Cluster is located in Zhangjiakou Competition Zone, two kilometers away from Taizicheng High Speed Railway Station and Ice and Snow Town, 2.5 kilometers away from the Olympic Village, and 7 kilometers away from Zhenqing Skiing Park, covering an area of 420 hectares. The venue group is semi-enclosed. And the group is centrally arranged with three competition venues: the National Skiing Jumping Center, the National Cross Country Skiing Center, and the National Bicycling Center. A non-competition venue, the Zhangjiakou Mountain Broadcasting Center, and its television studio, and the technical official hotel. During the Beijing Winter Olympics, Guangzhou Cluster will host cross country skiing. Skiing jumping, Nordic combined and bicycling four sub events, and 31 minor events. A total of 16 match days produced 31 gold medals, which is the largest number of gold medals. Located in the valley source of Guangzhou Cluster, the National Cross Country Skiing Center is one of the three competition venues of Guangzhou Cluster. Covering an area of about 106 hectares, and is in the same security closed line as the National Skiing Jumping Center and the National Bicycling Center. The main operating areas from west to east are the Venue Operation Compound, the Broadcast Compound, the Venue Media Center, the Technical Building, the Temporary Audience Stand. And the Athlete Compound and the Field of Play area. The total length of course is 13 kilometers, covering eight runs tracks with total length of 9.7 kilometers, auxiliary tracks 3.3 kilometers, including 1.5 kilometers of warm-up track on the east side of course. Training track length of 1.8 kilometers southwest side of the race track. The lowest point of track has an elevation of 1,638.8 meters. The highest point elevation of 1,721.6 meters, and an elevation change of 82.8 meters. A total of 59 light poles were built, mainly used for the end of the departure area and the 2.5 kilometers track light to ensure the broadcast effect of the night race. During the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics, the National Cross Country Skiing Center will host two sub events and 15 sub events with 296 cross country skiers and 50 from nearly 60 countries. Bicycle Nordic combined athletes will compete, resulting in 15 gold medals, including the women's double pursuit on February 5th and the cross country skiing women's 30 kilometers mixed departure. Gold medals on February 20th were the first and last gold medals at the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics. Cross-country skiing is a marathon in the winter event, with long routes and long race times, testing the endurance of athletes. The venue operation team fully implements the requirements of simple, safe, and wonderful. Formally establishes the idea of. Taking the events as the core, taking the athletes as the center, taking the venue as the main body, and taking the cluster as the guarantee, focusing on strict, fine, deep, real, and fast, combined with actual situation of the venue, making sufficient embroidery efforts, strengthening service guarantees, and the operation of the venue is fully ready. In terms of venue facilities. Infrastructure, technology, electricity, and other fields are closely connected with the venue owners, according to the Olympic standards. Since the construction period, work hard overnight. Permanent and temporary facilities are all completed. 
the broadcast compound is delivered and used as scheduled, and the facilities meet the requirements of the Winter Olympic Games in terms of competition organization. All the competition organizers are in place. The snowmaking of the track is completed, and the preparation of the venue, the setting of the track, the snow surface condition, and other competition preparation during the test race has been unanimously praised by athletes and coaches from Finland, Germany, Italy, and other countries. In terms of medical treatment, there are two medical stations. One medical station for athletes in the closed loop, and one medical station for spectators outside the closed loop. There are five medical points within the closed loop. In terms of catering, there are eight canteens in the closed loop and three outside the closed loop. A total of eleven catering points. In terms of transportation, in addition to Yuhuan Road, four auxiliary roads have been planned. And a total of four parking lots have been set up, with a total of 260 parking spaces. The National Cross Country Skiing Center operates three weather stations and three energy compounds to provide accurate weather forecasts and reliable power guarantees for the event. The venue operation team has 25 areas, one epidemic prevention team, and 1,445 staff during the game. Through the implementation of the experience of the Winter Olympics, carrying the red flag, being a pioneer activity, the implementation of the one-to-one -one help of the party members and the masses, the setting up of AB pods, the establishment of righteousness, unity, dedication, the emergence of love and dedication, the slight dedication of 15 excellent party members. And two excellent groups has stimulated the passion for running the games, condensed the work, and provided a strong guarantee for the successful holding of the Winter Olympic Games. The National Skiing Jumping Center is located in the northwest of Guangzhou Cluster, and covers an area of about 62 hectares. The jumping table section is figuratively called Snow Rui. Because it fits the S-shaped curve of the traditional Chinese mascot Rui, with a permanent construction area of about 24,000 square meters, the venue is composed of Summit Club, the competition area, and the grandstand area, which is the largest engineering and most technical difficult competition venue in Zhangjiakou area, and one of the landmark venues of the Beijing Winter Olympic Games. Snow Rui has two tracks, namely HS 140 Big Jump and HS 106 Standard Jump. 140 Big Jump with a length of 110 meters and a drop of 135 meters. 106 Standard Jumping platform length is 106 meters, and the drop is 115 meters. During the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics, two sub-events and eight sub-events of the Winter Olympics, skiing jumping and Nordic combined skiing will be held, resulting in a total of five gold medals. Before the competition, the International Snow Federation Skiing Jumping, Nordic Biathlon Intercontinental Cup. The National Skin Jumping Invitational Tournament and the National Nordic Combined Invitational Competition have been held. The Skin Jumping Competition consists of two rounds. The first round is based on the reverse order of the Intercontinental Cup points or the draw, and the second round starts in reverse order of the score of the previous round. The sum of the four points of altitude and distance. Wind compensation and departure are the final score of the contestant. Nordic combined starts with skiing, jumping, and then cross-country skiing. Cross-country skiing determines the order of departure according to the results of skiing, jumping compositions, and the ranking is determined by the time it reaches the finish line. And the athlete with the least time wins the final victory. A total of 25 areas and one epidemic prevention and control team are set up in the venue. The director later adopts the one plus three plus one model. 
that is, there is a director of the venue, one executive deputy director, one deputy director of the media, and the deputy director of the logistics, and one secretary general of the venue operation. The competition team cooperates with the owner unit, the mountain operation team, and the various business fields to control all key links of the competition organization and ensure the efficient and smooth competition organization, especially in the media center to set up a remote, unmanned mixed interview media area, the use of 5G cloud media technology, allowing journalists to break the space limits to communicate directly with participating athletes and officials, which has been praised by many media. In accordance with principle of five consistencies of the Winter Olympic Organizing Committee, the operation team resolutely implements the work requirements of no lamping of partitions, no intersection of flows, strict management of interfaces, and no cross-area personnel, and strictly implements various epidemic prevention measures and regulations, in accordance with the organizational framework. Each business field clarifies post responsibilities, strengthens personnel management, strengthens business training, and gives full play to the role of old with new and personnel help through the conference system, ensure that major matters are collectively studied, responsibility is assigned to people and timely implementation, through the information system, ensure the resources are shared between the museum and outside the museum, vertically and horizontally communicate with each other, and promote cooperation and conscientiously implement the requirements of simple, safe and wonderful competition, give full play to the role of the temporary party branch as a fighting fortress, continue to enhance the cohesion and combined effectiveness of the team, focus on forging the five first-class teams and prepare for the Winter Olympics in a state of pressing the line. In accordance of various work arrangements of Guangzhou Cluster, the National Skin Jumping Center strengthens the team's own construction, grasps the preparation of the Winter Olympics on the one hand, and the epidemic prevention and control on the other hand, and promotes the implementation of work tasks in accordance with the established rest. All the staff of the operation team of the National Skin Jumping Center has the confidence and ability to successfully host the skin jumping and Nordic combined competitions of Beijing Winter Olympics. The National Bicycling Center is currently the best bicycling venue in the country. The venue is narrow from east to west, and the center is the core area, including the shooting range, the technical building, and the penalty loop. The trunk is divided into the main race tracks, the Paralympic sitting trunk and the training trunk, with a total length of 8.7 kilometers. The location of the trunk takes into account the needs of spectators. During the competition, athletes guild back and forth between the sloops on both sides, and the technical buildings and grandstands are located in the lower parts of the valley, and the spectators can see the athletes moving up and down in the valleys from the east. The reservoir of the National Bison Center was originally planned on the slope of the southeast side of the track. In order to avoid the huge volume of the reservoir and the damage caused by the constructive process to the mountain, the design team changed its mindset, using the track as a partition, dividing a large reservoir into several small reservoirs, which formed a landscape lake interspersed between the tracks which not only met the needs of snowmaking, but also protected the mountain environment, aiding a flexible beauty to the venue surrounded by mountains. Standing in the core area of the National Bison Center, looking out, the west side is the landmark building of the Winter Olympics, Snow Ru Yi, and the east side is the ancient popular section of the Ming Great Wall. Not only can domestic athletes experience the pride of participating in the Olympic Games and witnessing history, but foreign athletes can also fully appreciate the charm of Chinese culture. 
In the winter bicycling competition, athletes need to quickly adjust their heart rate, breathe, and shoot accurately from moving to static after long distance skiing. And the shooting performance will directly affect the outcome of the competition. So the shooting range will be a gripping and a suspenseful place during the competition. In the winter two centers range area, there are two kinds of shooting targets with a total of 30 shooting targets. 50 meters targets are suitable for standard rifle shooting at the Winter Olympic Games and 10 meters are suitable for electronic target shooting for athletes of the Winter Paralympic Games. After athletes complete individual, group, sprint and relay races, they need to complete both stand and prone shooting. The National Bison Center is the venue with the longest running time, the largest number of gold medals, and the most complex situation in Beijing 2022 Winter Olympic and the Paralympic Winter Games. During the Beijing Winter Olympics, 207 athletes from 30 countries regions participated. During the Beijing Winter Paralympic Games, 40 teams are expected to participate in the competition, with a quota of 210 athletes. The National Bison Center is the only venue in Guangzhou cluster to undertake the Winter Paralympic event and will undertake 11 minor events of the Winter Olympic Games and 20 minor events of the Winter Paralympic Games. During the competition, a total of 49 gold medals will be produced, including 11 for the Winter Olympics and 38 for the Winter Paralympics. Under the strong leadership of Beijing Winter Olympic Organizing Committee, Hebei Province and Zhangjiakou City, and with the strong support of all sectors of society, the operation team of Guangshu Cluster will unite and cooperate, take on dedication, overcome difficulties, and make every effort to hand over excellent answers and contribute all its strength to the hosting of the simple, safe, and wonderful Winter Olympic Games. We are ready and warmly welcome friends from all walks of life to visit Guangshu cluster venues. Together we go for a shared future.